It's preseason football on ESPN. The Lions come in with what appears to be on paper one of the worst running games in the league. They'll need some inspiration out there. They will be going up against a team with similar weaknesses versus the Jaguars who come in running the ball with reasonable success. It's not the focus of their game plan, but it gets the job done. So let's see how it plays out in Jacksonville with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Hello, and it's a great day for football here at Alltel Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe. Peter, how about giving us the lowdown? Dan, we should see one heck of a battle down there on the field. And just look at these guys. Fred Taylor comes in as one of the finest running backs in the game. You just can't coach that kind of moves that this guy has. And warming up over here is someone who is just as capable of putting on a clinic. Robert Porsche comes in, and let me tell you, he has a real mean streak in him, Dan. The quarterback size tell part of the story. The numbers tell the rest. During his career on defense, he's averaged three tackles and a sack every other game. Thanks, Peter. Let's go midfield, where the team captains are ready for the coin toss. Give us tails. 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 It is heads. Head. The Jaguars <laughs> will receive the opening kickoff, and they send the return unit onto the field. will kick it off to start the first half. It's away. Joseph fields it in the end zone. Shoots! First down, Jaguar! They got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. Ball on the 22. Let's get the fans a show. Put the points on the board. They have their tight end to the right. Brunel drops back. Barely gets it off. Incomplete pass. Peter, let's look at the Jaguars' starting offense. Let's begin with the offensive line. Chris Naoli inspires his teammates to give it their all on every play. Next up, the receiving core. Jimmy Smith can break the game wide open when he gets the ball. In his career, he's averaged 74 yards on five catches a game. And lastly, the man who calls the plays and the guys who back him up. Mark Brunel gives this trio its punch. During his career as quarterback, he's averaged 216 yards and over a touchdown a game. Back to the field now. Second and ten. Go get Mason. What's the third and long? What's it? That was that was wide right. Brunel. They throws. Good tackle by the second-year man out of Texas. Peter, let's look at the Lions' starting defense. We'll start off with the D-line. Robert Porsche and his men deliver knockout blows to the offensive line all game long. Next up are the linebackers. Chris Claiborne is the man who brings the hurt here. Finally, Peter, the secondary. Terry Fair shadows his receiver like he's glued to him. Let's get back to the game. Third and ten. Let's play smart, baby. Let's play smart. Now on the gun, gets it off. That was a beautiful catch in traffic. Great position, and they'll pick up the first. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man, and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync. They're able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Well, they actually look like Backstreet Boys to me. I, I don't follow that. Ball at the 44-yard line. Two tight ends on the field. Brunel drops back, sits in the pocket, throws, and gets tackled right away because enough yards there for the first. 
Brunel. It's the bullseye on this baby. Check out this beauty. How did he get it by all those defenders? Yeah, he made those guys look like the Three Stooges. Yeah, not even the classic Three Stooges. More like two shemps and a curly Joe. Oh, remember him. <laughs> Ball on the 41. Taylor with the ball. A game of six on the play. Second down. Four yards to go. Second and four. Don't give him an inch, baby. Don't give him an inch. Strong out, strong out, double check. Taylor will run it. Takes oh. off a tackle. Fred Taylor powers ahead on the strength of this wicked stiff arm. Oh, get a load of that, will you? You can't coach that. He bought him the space he needed to make that play, Peter. He showed fantastic determination to get those extra yards. Ball at the 28-yard line. They're going with the eye. Smith goes in motion. Brunel fades back, throws, it's tipped, it's intercepted! Rewalt is down oh, after making a great play to come down First with the interception. Blank Freewalt. Oh, that is desire. You have got that right, sir. Yeah, you can't coach that inner fire that a player has. Unbelievable. Stretches out for this one. Watch this bit of athleticism. Well, their offense takes the field after that great interception. Let's see if they can capitalize. Ball on the 29. Think you get after that? I don't think so. Stewart with the carry. No gain on the play. Peter, let's look at the Lions' starting offense. Up first are the big guys, the offensive line. Brendan Starr keeps the quarterback healthy, and he and his line are ready to go. Next up are the receivers. Bill Schrader leads this squad, putting on a big show for the fans. In his career, he's averaged 46 yards on three catches a game. Last but not least, we have these three gentlemen. Corey Schlesinger puts on a good show with these other two. During his career as a back, he's averaged two yards on one carry a game. Okay, back to the action. Second and ten. Man drops back, sits tight, throws. The 40, 40 at the 30 yard line. First down. Other here at the end, the football for a nice reception. Right there. But the play doesn't stop there, Dan. No, sir. That's just the first act in a beautiful big yard play. A sterling effort all around. The Lions have a first after the big pass on that last play. Hakeem lines up wide left after the big game last play. And the force is through. A good run by the eight-year man out of Tennessee. James Stewart played some aggressive offense there that paid off. Watch this. Boom! Oh. He, he just went for it. Well, that shoulder charge really made the play happen, and I don't see him punching through otherwise. Oh, yeah, sacrificing the body. You can't coach that. Ball at the 25-yard line. Watch for the run! Watch for the run! Stewart 
with the ball through the field. He goes through the middle, picks up the five, and of course gets the first down. First down. Peter, let's look at the Jaguars starting defense. First up, the defensive line. Tony Brackens deserves our full attention, Dan. He and his squad need to put a lot of pressure on the quarterback today. That's followed by the linebackers. Wally Rayner is the standout player of this bunch. And last but not least, we have the secondary. Fernando Bryant stays neck and neck with his man, neutralizing him. Now back to the game. Ball on the 20. They line up in the eye. McMahon fades back. Throws. Tipped. The pass is incomplete. Jason Kraft got his body in the way of that one, Dan. It's all about clogging up the passing lanes. You can't coach that. Second and ten. Man, drops back. Oh, he's dropped, but it looks like he's, yes, he's going to get a good spot. Yep, he does. Placed inches past the first down line. Michael Ricks has got three hungry sharks circling him and still managed to catch the ball. Look, oh, mm. nice catch. Yeah, and any one of those guys could have easily broken up that play, even picked up the pass. Why throw to him, Peter? Well, as we just saw, he can get the job done, and that counts for something. First and goal. They go with the split backfield. McMahon, they back. Barely gets it off. Touchdown. McMahon breaks up perfectly with his man for the score. We'll take another look. That's six points. They were totally synced up on that play. A great route plus a great catch. Equals six points, and that's really great. Hanson will line up for the point after. It's away. The extra point. Good. The Lions draw first blood and put the first points up on the scoreboard. Seven to zero. Lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. Good kick. Joseph gets it deep. Good tackle. Return of 22. First down. Well, last time they had it, they turned it over on the interception. Let's see if they worked out the kinks here. Ball at the 24-yard line. Let's go, guys. Get the fans on the cheer for. They go with the I formation. Stiff arms. Ball on the 27. No, three more quarters of us in your face. Doesn't look good, does 92. Johnson in motion. That's your man, he's yours. Taylor will run it. Room to right. The 40. 40. 30. Runs out at the 23 yard line. Red Taylor obviously really wanted to get every yard. Watch this. Whoa. Tack on some frequent flyer mileage to this one, Dan. <laughs> he did what he had to, Peter. That leap made that huge gain possible. <laughs> the 
Jaguars, with a nice run on the last play, will have another first down. Taylor is behind the quarterback and we'll see if he has another big play here. Taylor gets it again. Beautiful run by the fine view man out of Florida. Kyle Brady provides needed assistance there with a monster block. Oh, yeah. After that block, the field got a lot less crowded for him. Absolutely, Dan. You know, sometimes the difference between 2 and 20 yards is just one guy on defense. Ball at the 13-yard line. The Jaguars still stay with the goal. A gain of eight. Well, those runs to the outside have really been successful today. I'd recommend that they keep at it and draw the defense out. Two yards to go. It's second and two. With the carry. As a seed. Fred Taylor high six big ones with this brilliant stiff arm here. Yaza. It's all about drive, Dan. <laughs> Yaza? Yeah. Well, you're right, Peter. This is a game of who wants it more. Yeah, obviously he wanted it more. Holmes lines up for the point after. There's the kick. The extra point is good. The Jaguars eye this one up. Holmes will kick this one away. It's off. Howard catches it. Wheeler makes the tackler on the return. First down, Lion. Azahir Akeem was the contributor for his team last drive. Let's see what he does this time out. Ball on the 27. Man, he comes back, throws, and a is tackled after a superb defensive play to come away with the interception. Like McMahon didn't make the best choice on this pass, and he pays the price. Let's watch it. Well, easy interception. Yeah, there were two defenders there. It would have required a perfect throw for a completion. Yeah, he should have looked somewhere else. Dan, last time out, these guys went straight down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can repeat that performance. Ball at the 32-yard line. Let's get moving. They have three receivers in. of one. Wow, the D displayed some great speed on that first down. They left absolutely nowhere to run on the outside. It's second and 11. Just like last time, baby. They line up with two wideouts. Brunel fades back. Oh. Flag on the play. Let's listen to the call. Pass interference. Number 58. Defense. 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 has to go for the ball. He can't just manhandle the receiver like that. That's interference. The Jaguars get a free first down from the defensive penalty. Rewald gets set after committing the penalty. Brunel drops back. Throws. The pass falls incomplete. 
Mark Brunel threw that ball a little behind his man. You know, it's very tough for a receiver to reverse direction and try to rescue those kind of balls. Ball on the 28th. Taylor with the ball. It'll be third down. Third and four. Tight end is lined up left side. Smith goes in motion. We've reached the two-minute warning. Third and four. Brunel fades back, throws. Johnson was the intended receiver on that play, incomplete. Mark Brunel didn't get the ball far enough downfield, just sort of fizzled out on him. Holmes can put his team on top with this kick here in the second quarter. This through the uprights without too much hassle. Straight down the pipe. Yeah, nice kick, and the special team squad is happy about that, and they love to see it go smoothly, just as that one did. Yeah, Holmes is back to kick it away. Nice kickoff. Howard catches it in the end zone. Tackle left the 20 yard line. First down, Lion. Well, this is a great opportunity to bring this game closer before halftime. Let's see if they can make something happen here. 150 on the game clock. They're going with two tight ends. Man drops back, throws, caught in the flats. The 40. Oh, they got the 28 yards on the play. First down. Uh, the hero team takes it down, then pours it on. Watch this. Great catch, but he really delivers on the run. Absolutely. You know what they say about receivers. You have a great pair of feet. What, they're fast? All at the 48-yard line. Stewart will run it. Nice ball. Darius bags him down after a handful of yards. Put this one off his right guard and gets a few. Second down. Six yards to go. It's now second and six. Stewart with the carry. Great tackle by the four-year man out of Virginia. The Lions take their first time out. Took the handoff and went right of center, but it didn't open up like he wanted it to, and he stopped pretty quickly. It's third and five. Man from shotgun. Throws. Take a timeout. That's their second. He sends a telegram to his man for the completion. Take a look. 
Here's the throw right to him. This passing offense spends so much time in practice running plays and patterns that it's, it's almost instinctive at this point. Ball on the 37. Man on the gun. Throws. The 10. He's in for the touchdown. Will Schrader takes on three defenders and still makes the touchdown. Man alive. That's that's just a tremendous catch. And a tremendous throw, too. I'm amazed that he threw it into triple coverage. Amazing. Hanson will line up for the point after. It's away. He adds the extra point. The Lions are now out on top to the tune of 14 to 10. Sets up and will kick it away. The kick is up. Gibson fields it deep. A 25. First down, Well, if they can score on this drive before the half, it could put them in the lead, which is a, a really big boost going into halftime. The clock is at 55. Everybody's watching. It's time to jump. All at the 33 yard line. Smith in motion. Moves wide. Charges. The Jaguars take their first time out. The clock is down to 18. Tight end is lined up on the right side. Taylor again gets it. Forces it. Green stops that play after only a couple of yards. Got a few yards there off the first down carry. You can't underestimate the value of getting positive yardage on first down. Second and eight. The Jaguars will take a timeout. That's their second. the 43. They come out in the shotgun. Brunel from the gun. Drops way back. Throws. That will bring up third and long. Damon Gibson saw the pass go a little to his right. Either he or the quarterback wasn't quite where they were supposed to be. That will do it for the first half. The score, 14 to 10. Let's go to Clark Dishman in the ESPN studios for a halftime update. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The Lions consistently have passed the ball well, and that's been a key factor in keeping this a close game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Expect more of the same in the second half. Bill Schrader has so far caught balls for a total of 46 yards and two touchdowns. That makes him our ESPN Hot at the Half player. That will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman reminding you to tune in to ESPN's post-game show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send you back to Dan and Peter. Holmes 
Gives the signal, and we're ready to start the second half. It's away. Howard fields this one. Stop at the 20 yard line. First down, Lion. Close game so far, and even though there's plenty of time left, they'd love to score on this drive. Ball at the 20-yard line. Free makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. Picks up a few there. It may not look like much, Dan, but getting those early yards makes second and third downs immensely easier. It's second and about seven yards. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. High formation. <laughs> McMahon fades back, sits in the pocket, throws. <laughs> A game of 30. You got to get cover me. Dan, this throw is simply amazing. He launches this baby all the way downfield. Look at this moonshot. Unbelievable. Not only the arm strength is impressive, but really that accurate. That far downfield is nothing short of fantastic. The Lions, after the big pass last play, will have a first down. Trader lines up wide right after racking up the yards last play. McMahon drops back. It's tight. Good takedown by the seven-year man out of Texas. Mike McMahon maybe should have thought twice before throwing into double coverage. That could have easily been picked off. Ball on the 47. Man who fades back, sits in the pocket, throws, incomplete. The second incompletion in a row. Oh, these guys are almost in different games, let alone different plays. They gotta sync up better. Third and ten. Man from shotgun. Tipped. And that will bring up fourth and long. But now that's an odd call. He missed it, but if he had caught it, he still would have been short of the markers. Jet comes in and will punt it away. Gibson will field it. Well, it's their turn on offense. Let's see what they do. Ball at the 30 yard line. Let's give the fans a show. Put some points on the board. Right side, right side, left. Brunel drops back, barely gets it off. The 40. Pat Johnson nabs the football for a nice reception. Right there, but the play doesn't stop there, Dan. No, sir, that's just the first act in a beautiful big yard play, a sterling effort all around. The Jaguars have a first after the big pass on that last play. Johnson, the lineup wide left after the nice pickup last play. Open field wide right. Drag down at the 24 yard line. Fred Taylor was having none of that tackle. Check this out. 
shit down. He throws the defender off like a coat on a hot summer day. You know, after that hit, I'm not sure which hurts first, Peter, the defender or the defense is fine. <laughs> I'd say a little of both on that play, Dan. Ball on the 24. Taylor with the wall. Sets face wide right. Light meets that play head on right at the line of scrimmage. Carried this one way right. But there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. It's second and nine. Second down is nowhere, baby. Yeah. Smith goes in motion. Mel aids back. Throws. Somehow he slipped through the defense to pick up a handful of extra yards. Nice move for the first down. Mark Brunel had no trouble zinging that one past the defender, Dan. Perfect throw. He couldn't help but catch it. The ball was sent there. Special delivery. And the receiver didn't even have to sign for it. at the 11-yard line. Brunel drops back, throws, cut for a touchdown. Brunel nails his man in the end zone for the big score. Watch, right by the defender. He zeroed in on his man early and obviously thought the single coverage was worth the risk. With an accurate arm like that, Dan, there wasn't any risk at all. Holmes lines up for the point after. There's the kick. The extra point. Good. The Jaguars take the lead with that score, 17 to 14. Holmes lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. This is a beauty. Fair fields it in the end zone, and he will decide to down it. Dan, they allowed the touchdown, and now it's their turn to answer right back. Let's see if they can do it. Ball on the 20. They're going with the eye. Ritz in motion. McMahon fades back. Barely gets it. Great pass by the second year man out of Rutgers. First down. Mike McMahon throws a homing missile on this play. Check this out. Totally threads the needle. There are two defenders there, Peter, and there was definitely not a lot of room for error. Oh, absolutely. There was not a lot of room for, for anything. Ball at the 33-yard line. McMahon drops back. Throws. The 40. Bill Schrader turns on the juice and rips this ball down. Watch how he aggressively goes after this. Oh, man. Oh, he, yeah. he shows great reflexes there, leaning out to grab that pass. Well, some receivers would be forced to dive for a ball like that, yeah. but he manages to get under the ball. Fantastic play. The Lions, after the big pass last play, will have a first down. Schrader is wide right, and we'll see if he can repeat his performance from the last play. Clark 
with the tackle, his first stop of the game. Went with the draw right up the gut and picked up a handful. Seven yards to go. It's the end of the third quarter. The Jaguars currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. 17 to 14. It's second and about seven yards. Man fades back, throws. Uh, the Hurricane was the man in the middle on that play. Watch this. Oh, great catch. Yeah, and very, very tough to do in double coverage like that. Yeah, you got two guys flipping a coin to see who's going to cream you. Terrific job by the receiver. Ball on the 23. McMahon drops back, throws. Darius makes the tackle. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Second and less than a yard. Split back here. Stewart with the carry. Charges. DJ Slaughter really came to play today. He knocks him back a few yards, as we'll see here in the replay. Great tackle. Yeah, and now that is something you can coach. You can? And obviously, they did it. They coached him very well. Wow. Third and four. They line up with two tight ends. McMahon fades back. Barely they bring him down, and that's his fifth grab on the day. Nice completion here. Take a look. There's the throw right in between the numbers. He had them lined up just right, and they connected for a decent gain. The Lions have a first down. It's their fourth of this drive, and they keep pounding away. Man, drops back. Throws. Nice tackle by the second-year man out of Georgia. Danny Clark had that player's number, including its four-digit extension, baby. There was no way that pass was getting by him. Ball at the 11-yard line. Ricks throws in motion. McMahon fades back. Throws. Rainer makes the tackle. That's number four. They dump it off over the middle and complete the pass. But there wasn't a lot there. The defense reacted to that baby in a hurry. It's now third and six. One man back. Kravitz tackles him a couple of yards behind the line. Jason Kravitz.
Kraft gave them no room to move and no time to get there. What a great start on third down. See that? They, they didn't get anywhere. I think they even lost the ground there, Peter. What a great defensive effort to force fourth down. Henson lines up for the field goal. We have reached the two-minute warning. It'll be a 27-yard attempt. From that range. Jason Hansen chips this one in pretty easily. Right through. He could kick those in his sleep. And sometimes he does, from what I hear. His wife makes him spend a lot of nights on the couch. The Lions headlock the game with that score. will kick this one away. Got all of his leg behind this one. Joseph gets the ball, and he thinks better of returning it and will down it. Biggest drive of the game right here, Dan. They can put this one away if they somehow get into scoring range. Ball on the 20. They line up in the eye. Brunel drops back, throws. He's brought down, putting an end to his first catch of the day. Mark Brunel locked in on his man despite the fact he was covered. And there's the completion. Man, he made that look easy. Had no trouble beating the tight coverage. Man, he could toss anything, even a salad, and hit his man. Ball at the 34-yard line. Two wide receivers on the field. Taylor with the ball. Claiborne pounds into a stop just past the line. It's second and nine. Let's not get me Nothing, Katie. They're going with their tight end left. Smith in motion. Throws. Incomplete. Pat Johnson threw to the outside and was open, but couldn't make the completion. It's third and nine. Three wide receivers on the field. Brunel fades back. Barely gets it off. Incomplete. Ryan Walker managed to make sure that he was positioned between the QB and the receiver on that baby. There was no way that was going to be a completion. Forty-two seconds on the clock. Henson comes in and will punt it away. away Howard reels in the fair catch biggest drive of the game right here Dan they can put this one away if they somehow get into scoring range the clock reads 36 McMahon drops back sits tight Throws, incomplete pass. 
James Boyd with some great coverage on that one, Dan. Played him just tight enough to make it a difficult catch. Ball on the 29. Man from the gun. Throws. Throw was the intended receiver incomplete. Well, I'm not sure whose fault it is, though. But these guys were way off the script. It's all about focus. Third and ten. They line up with four wideouts. McMahon fades back, just gets it off. Contest by the 11 year man out of Michigan. First down. He connects with his receiver with ease, Dan. He sees his man and then airs it out for the completion. Yeah, they are in sync there, able to depend on each other as the play unfolds. Well, they actually look like backstreet boys to me. I, I don't follow that. Oh, look at this. No sacks so far. And that's a credit to the O-line, giving him the protection he needs to produce. Man, he's back. Throws. It's tipped. It's intercepted. Darius is down after making a great play to come down with the interception. Mike McMahon gets some heat in the backfield, and you have to believe that it caused this pass to not go where he wanted it to. There's the INT right there. The pressure was good, but Peter, that was a nice play on the ball. You got that right, Dan. Great reaction time to snag the ball out of the air like that. Biggest drive of the game right here, Dan. They can put this one away if they somehow get into scoring range. 20 on the game clock. It's make a break time, D. It's make a break time. Wide right. Ronell fades back, sits in the pocket. He's taken down, and that's his third reception of the day. The Jaguars take their first time out. Mark Brunel threw a solid pass into single coverage. Let's see it again. Right there. Yeah. Now, that's a clean pass left. No opening for it to be picked off. Of. Yes, sir. He threw a guided missile there. Emphasis on guided. <laughs> he knew exactly where that pass was going. Thirteen seconds left. Brunel from shotgun. Throws. Light with yet another stop. His fifth today. The Jaguars will take a timeout. That's their second. They toss this one out left and complete the pass for a nice gain. It's second and two. Holmes can win it with this kick. Tremendous pressure down on the field right now. away. Good. He's accurate from that range and he proves it there. Holmes lines up for the kickoff. Perfect kickoff. Howard catches it in the end zone, and he downs it. We will start up at the 20. Oh, this is a huge drive. They have a chance to tie it up and head into overtime. Hey, it's crunch time, fellas. Ball at the 20-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. McMahon from shotgun throws. He's tackled, and that's his second catch on the afternoon. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. The Jaguars win a close one, 20 to 17. Well, that's all she wrote.
Hey, everybody, on behalf of Peter O'Keefe, Michelle Westfall, and myself, Dan Stevens, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the ESPN post-game wrap-up coming up next. This is Clark Dishman welcoming you to the ESPN post-game show. The Jaguars come away with a close three-point win over the Lions. The Jaguars completely arrested the ground game today. Just look at the statistics. Their front four manhandled the line of scrimmage and was a big part in the win. Donovan Darius troubled the quarterback with a total of one interception and six tackles. He will get our ESPN player of the game. And that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in to ESPN during the regular season for games, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.